Learning an instrument is the most important step you can take to becoming a musician. Without an object to create sound, your musical journey will take a different path. Even if you choose to be an engineer, a producer, or a manager, playing an instrument provides an understanding of music that will be an advantage when you're dealing with other musicians. Whether it's a traditional instrument like the piano or a guitar, your voice as a singer, or something more modern like synths or digital workstations or even augmented reality, the process of learning can be lifelong. Even the masters are still learning, still pushing the boundaries, trying to improve. After all, that's what makes it fun, right? There are many facets to learning that culminate in not just a skill, but hopefully a passion that will slowly start to seep into your everyday life. And that's the first tip on how to make learning easier. You need to become more than someone who can just play a piano. The piano needs to become part of who you are. Form a relationship. You need to take your relationship with your instrument to the next level and become best friends with it. You're likely spending more time with your instrument than anything or anyone else. Get to know it, learn about it, spend time with it, treat it like any other friendship. Research. Let's say you've chosen to learn piano, but this can be applied to any other instrument. You need to find out everything there is to know about the piano. Where and when was the first piano made? What materials do they make pianos from? Who makes them? How do they make sound? What are the characteristics of that sound? Examine your piano or keyboard, find out everything there is to know about the brand, then read the manual. Search, research, and discover everything there is to know about the instrument itself. Obsess over it. Become a geek about your instrument. There's nothing cooler than someone who can play well and knows their gear. Maintenance. Keep your instrument in top condition. No matter if it's second, third, or fourth hand, clean it regularly, keep it serviced, or learn how to maintain it yourself. Keep it free of moisture, store it somewhere dry, not too hot or cold, and get it a case. The best investment you can make other than the instrument itself is a case to put it in or a cover to put over it. You need to take pride in it. The condition of your instrument reflects your own condition and will encourage you to play it more often. No one wants to play a sticky, dusty, out-of-tune piano. Make it personal. Give your instrument a name. It might sound silly, but personalizing your instrument can help you look after it. Treat Elton every now and then to a fresh polish, some new strings, or a service. He'll thank you for it by giving you longevity and a better quality sound. Now we've got you loving your instrument, you need to learn how to actually play it. Unfortunately, that means you need to learn some technique. Technique. You can get by without learning to read music, although I don't recommend it, but you won't get very far without learning the technique required to play your instrument. So take a deep breath, suck it up, and start. In our modern environment, there are numerous ways to learn technique. Online courses and ebooks are becoming more popular than physical music books or in person music lessons. Whatever you decide will work for you, know that some sort of lesson regimen will help you progress quicker and with a more solid base than self-directed learning. Lessons. You can spend weeks on YouTube watching instructional videos, piecing together what you think you need to know, but actual formulated lessons will deliver the required structured information to ensure you learn correct technique. You need a strong foundation to build your skill. Don't skimp on the first step. This can apply to any instrument, from cello to singing to software. There will be courses and lessons out there for any aspect of learning music that you can think of. If you'd rather learn online at your own pace, or there aren't any in-person lessons where you live, the internet is an incredible resource. And since we've been talking about piano, here's my recommended online piano course and a fantastic foundation for learning the piano, Piano Picnic. Listen. Let's change it up and say you're learning the tuba. Cool instrument, well done. You need to be listening to music every day that heavily features the tuba. You need to hear how it can sound in different arrangements and styles and how other people are pushing the limits of the instrument. When you hear a tuba arrangement that you particularly enjoy, find out who's playing it, find out what else they've done and listen to everything they have. 
Get heroes. You could be an aspiring singer and have just discovered Nina Simone. Start listening, start researching, find out everything there is to know about Nina and how she sings. How is her technique described? How did she start? What makes her so good? What about her singing do you like? Answer those questions and then start imitating her. Imitation sounds like a bad word, but honestly, it's where everyone starts. Here are the three most important words you will hear in regards to your musical journey. Ready? Imitation. Innovation. Invention. You first learn by imitating. We all start by imitating our heroes and the influential people in our field of interest. It's a fact of human life, from speech to walking to playing an instrument. Don't be afraid to purposefully imitate. You have no choice if you want to learn. Innovation is when you take something that's already known and change or alter it slightly to suit your purpose or express your point of view. Most musicians never make it past innovation. It's just another fact. There is nothing wrong with being an innovator. It's actually impressive. Having the ability to innovate means you have worked hard and you have skill and knowledge in your field. Invention is the highest echelon in the world of music, touched by a select few. It is the creation of something entirely original. Beethoven invented romantic music. Les Paul arguably invented the electric guitar, and also arguably, therefore invented rock and roll. Innovation by Cool Herc, Grandmaster Flowers, Grandmaster Flash, and Africa Bambata led to the invention of hip-hop. So start imitating. You never know, it could be you to ascend into music history. Practice. Once you have some basic skill and you're beginning to grasp the techniques, the possibilities and the limitations of your instrument, start to learn every song and album you can get your hands on that's within or just outside your capability. Start simple and progress in difficulty until you master each piece. Obsess over every detail until you have it perfect. Learning what popular musicians are playing and how to imitate them will develop the techniques required to become a master of your instrument. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you'd like the next video to be about in the comments. Hit subscribe and then come join the Musicians Map Facebook group to discuss your musical journey. Also, go to musiciansmap.org and check out my ebook and audiobook about building success in music, as well as my podcast and a whole lot more free content and information.